What's up guys, John from Texas and today we are going to be looking at a trial truck. And guess what? It's another Toyota looking one. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you end up liking this video, please give it a like. Also, if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to the channel guys. And also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of my new trail truck. So, I went browsing and I saw this beautiful thing. And I just thought to myself, look, let's get one. It would look nice in our collection that we are currently building of crawlers. And because it does look like a Toyota guys, like a Tacoma specifically, I just thought, <laughs> man, let's do this one. All right, so what did I get? An Element Enduro Night Runner, but in the blue form. So let's quickly look at it. Check it out, guys. <laughs> How awesome is that? It only has a solid rear axle. The front is independent suspension, guys. And that really helps to give it that scale look that we are looking for in this vehicle. So let's look at the box. You can see, guys, the front, one of the sides, the rear side, the other side, there's a couple of specs guys again you can go look in the link in the description down below if you want to see more exact specs on the vehicle i'm not going to go too much into it guys i just want to get this thing open and see what is inside so let's get it out so this is a ready to run kit guys it does not come with a battery in the form that i've got it there's no battery inside here so i will need to add one of my batteries i did not buy a new battery for this as i've got a couple of lipo batteries that will work with this so let's open it up i'm gonna open it up neatly all right so guys so there is the opening let's do it like this like this is the right way so mounted against the box here we've got a couple of screws and i'm guessing that is to add to the accessories look at this truck guys how epic does that look how beautiful is that as you can see guys toyota tacoma really awesome Okay, I'm quickly going to check where and what is holding this thing down. Oh, I see a couple of zip ties. All right, I've taken the zip ties off. Let's quickly remove the plastic that's on the body shell. I've got nice protectors for the body clip. Unfortunately, guys, the one thing that is letting this car down from looking absolutely 100% scale is the fact that it's got visible body clips which is unfortunate it does take away from the scale look of the vehicle let's take the truck out awesome before we look more at the, the truck let's see what is underneath the box as you can see guys the controller is here and you've got the accessory pack as well scale accessories okay so there is some of the scale accessories uh, i see the rooftop tent is in here I see there's an axle in here the snorkel which is definitely going to get mounted is also in there okay we've got the controller nice bubble wrap the controller manual bind plug there's the controller manual there's the controller good tension on the throttle and also nice foam grip and you've got a little blue brake caliper inside of the controller this is the XP130, it's a 3 channel radio and it is 2.4 GHz and you've got throttle trim, steering trim, throttle dual rate, you've got steering dual rate, EPA, battery, power indicator, couple of things on there guys and you need, 
I believe it's four, yes, four batteries, which we can put in right now. Let's see if we've got power. All right, we've got power, excellent. One thing to just note about this controller is when it rains, the issue is the truck might be waterproof but the controller isn't going to be. Reason being, there's no cover to protect the, the open buttons. So yeah, that's quite an unfortunate one. There's no flap to cover it like many of the other um, crawler controllers that you see. But yeah, not too bad. The accessories pack, we're just going to put it down. Then we've got a updated rack and hardware components. Right, so this must be something that is extra, that's included extra. I did see a similar thing inside of the accessory pack. Um, we'll look at that. Bind plug. And then we've got very nice stickers and an owner's manual. Let's open that up and see what is inside. So there's the owner's manual, and there is the truck, and there you can see some of the accessories that you also get included. It shows you how to install these accessories, the owner's build manual, it's really nice. Look at that, got parts, part numbers, everything in there, high quality, very nice, and look how cool this sticker sheet is. Awesome stickers that you can find in there to add to the vehicle and what else do we have in here so it looks like the ESC information so you've got a 2S and 3S capable ESC that's nice and then you've got what looks to be the a nice marketing pamphlet that the truck and as we know Element is owned by Associated Electrics or Team Associated better known okay so let's look at the truck how scale does this thing look? How beautiful is this, eh? Okay. Let's put the truck body there. Let's look at what's inside. So there is your ESC. It's a really power ESC. And you've got a 540 process motor. High torque. You've got four-wheel drive. There is a receiver box. You've got a T-plug connection that goes to the ESC, so you'll need a battery that supports a T-plug or you must change out the connectors. You've got a small battery tray that comes with the truck out of the box, but they do have a longer battery tray inside for longer batteries. Let's quickly see how the suspension looks. Oh, really nice. You've got a four-link system at the back, got a rear differential, center differential, and front differential. I believe this is a single speed vehicle, but all of that technical babble will be in the link down below. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this truck and I'm going to put on the accessories that I want and then I'm going to take it outside and see what it does. So let's do it. We are on location here at the beautiful lake here close to New Plymouth and I thought this would be the great place to bring my brand new Element Enduro Night Runner to give you guys an idea of how beautiful it is here. So let's hit the trails. Right, we should be careful not to have a drop there. <laughs> Ooh. 
Look what he has. Let's get back. Oh, there we go. Just a stunning vehicle, guys. Beautiful. Mud. Climb this little branch here with this little piece of wood. Excellent guys. Oh, what a beauty. Such a quiet vehicle. Extremely quiet. There's a top speed test. So, a couple of cosmetic stuff that I did add to the vehicle is obviously the rear tow hook with the tow bar. And then the front, I did some more togs. I think it looks awesome. Right, right so now it starts to get a little bit more rocky. With a nice piece of wood here. Decent angle, guys. Look at that. So there's quite a Just off that. The vehicle really does feel like it's balanced well. How awesome is that color, eh? This side. Right, so here's a nice obstacle. As you can see, guys, it's quite a steep hill. I'll probably be out of breath when we get to the top of this staircase. Let's see how it goes. Let's go to this side of the staircase. Awesome. Let's go around here. Flipping up. See if we can get it over. Oh! A little bit of wheel spin did the trick there. Excellent work. Let's go a little bit to this side again. There's some loose leaves. Let's see how it performs there. Nice. Very, very nice. Let's go up this side.
think it's just gorgeous height. Right. Beautiful lake. Look at that, guys. Unfortunately, the top of the mountain is covered in clouds today. And how awesome is that? Please, it shouldn't have any issues. Easy work. <laughs> Nothing a little bit wheel speed can't fix, eh? <laughs>